See, the thing with Nick Allen is that Nick had a really unique ability that I think is going to be super, super hard to find. And that's, he, he, I think that's what makes Nick a better executive than me. Nick worked in Twitch and Riot Games, so he's familiar with, with uh, I'd say, navigating bureaucracies. But simultaneously, he has the esports feel, right? He's agile. He's a, he, he understands how to run a, an esports team and like a small operation. It's really rare that people kind of have that experience. Either you have a person that's good at small business or you have a person that's good in corporations. For example, I'm very good in small businesses. I'm absolutely terrible in uh, large businesses. The way that I was taught to think about this by, um, by my mentors was um, there's one to 100, okay? 100% is like, um, it, like Johnson & Johnson um, or like massive pharmaceutical companies, right? M multi billion dollar uh, companies. And 1% is like you have an idea in your basement. And there's a spectrum across from one to 100%, right? And the way that I like to think of this is 1%, um, you have an idea in your basement. 100% multi-billion dollar company. And the way I learned to think about this is everybody falls into some kind of spectrum on the uh, scale. So very few people are one to 100, right? Um, I am personally, I think I'm like a, I'd say I'm like a five to like 40% executive. So what I mean by that is like if maybe even like 10 to 40% where it's like someone someone and if you look at all the companies I've I've worked in, right? They all fit this category. So Dignitas was like a built company with an idea and infrastructure to brand. And then we took it to the next level to sell it to 76ers. CLG was like a good idea with like a brand, a team, and stuff going for it. We sold that to Massive Guard. And now Nerd Fusion is like good idea, small company, right? So we're talking like sub like 10 employees. Um, and we are like looking to build into something else, either to like sell the company or maybe do something else or whatever. Okay, cool. So um, what's, what's called like 50%. So once you're at like 50%, this is like the sale, right? 40 to 50% is like the sale. This is where you either sell to like a public company or like if you're lucky or like a private company. So um, this is like me as an executive, meaning that like, so I don't function very well on one to 10%. If you, if, you, if you tell me like, hey, make an idea and then like take this to the next level. I'm not very good at that. And then if you, also if you tell me, um, hey, we're sell we, we have a large company, we need you to come in as an executive and we're gonna, you need to run these 400 people. I'm also terrible at that, right? So like from 50 to 100%, I'm, it, you know, but I, I, I'm pretty good in this like 10 to 40% category. No one, almost no one is a one to 100 CEO. I can think of maybe two people, Jeff Bezos, e not Elon, um, mm, Steve Jobs, and he only did it once. Eric Schmidt, maybe. Um, it's really hard. Richard Branson. Um, these are like, if you find a one to a hundred um, person, that is, a, that is an insanely rare person for sure. Um, Bill Gates is definitely a one to a hundred CEO. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so, so outside of the, the problems I had with Madison Square Garden, it, it was also the reason why I left was because I also identified that like taking CLG to it's like 50 to a hundred percent was just going to be something that I was not capable of doing. Does that make sense? Mark Cuban. I think Mark Cuban is probably no, I think Mark Cuban is not a 1 to 100 CEO. I think Mark Cuban is like a 1 to 50 CEO or a 1 to 75 CEO. Uh, the reason I say that is because Cuban has never run a multi-billion dollar business that I know of. Am I right on that? Like, he's not running like Pfizer's and stuff. He's incredible with startups and stuff, but he's not, he's not on like the 75 to 100. Um, he's just a very, very good VC. Pretty sure that's right. So when I, when I, so like a hundred percent is like, imagine the biggest companies on earth, right? That's, that's Microsoft, Google, 
Very few people can do that. He's like, I feel like Mark Cuban is like a one to 70, which is still incredible, right? Because the larger, the larger your, your spectrum is, the better, right? So my spectrum is only like 30%. So I'm like a 30%, you know, that's like, there's a lot of value you can provide within 30%, but that's the, that's the value I provide, right? Whereas like Cuban is like 70%. So that guy's got 40% over me, you know, he's, he's literally twice as effective. I wouldn't consider sports teams to be, um, uh, more, sports like the the Mavericks are not Google, right? Are there CEOs that can do fifty to hundred but can't do one to fifty? Oh yeah, totally. So this is the this is that's a great question. That's the whole point, right? Is there are a lot of executives that you have to replace at certain periods of growth in the company because of this problem, right? You you may start your company with people who are very good at growing the company from one to 20%. Then you may have to do an executive shakeup when you get to 20% because then you gotta get people that are good at 20 to 50%. Then you have to do another shakeup to get people to 50 to 100. So th th like, that's why um, not many companies get to 100 because you have to do a lot of shakeups to get there. Elon is a god at one to 50%. I feel like Elon's a good, I think Elon somehow has managed to reverse this scale. So he's somehow going from like 60% to 0%. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know how he does it. He's, uh, he's so, um, <laughs> he's so, uh, he's so contrarian that he's managed to reverse the scale. <laughs> and In other news, my Tesla short is going insanely well. <laughs> Elon Musk is the Benjamin Button of this concept. While everyone else is kind of like moving along, they're like 10 to 30, 40 to 70, 70 to 100, whatever. Elon is like regressing into his younger self. Walk little, walk small, talk big thoughts. Gonna tell them all just what I want. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the end of swings.